you guys know I'm Nigerian and um, I have travel marks. I don't know if you can really see them right now. How clear? Okay, yeah, right here and right here. Travel marks. I am a Yoruba girl, to be specific, of the Yoruba tribe. And my mom has travel marks as well. Um, hers are much more pronounced than mine because they were able to be, I guess I'll say redone, if that makes sense. Like, you know, it heals and then you do it more to make it more pronounced. And she obviously was born, raised to full adulthood in her in our home country, Nigeria. I was born there, but only raised there till I was four. And then we came to America. So different experience for me. But my mom told me a really interesting story about my travel marks. And I'm going to share that with you guys today, but I'm going to share it with my kids too, because I think it's really interesting. I mean, they know I have travel marks. They've seen that, but I want them to know the story. The way I just learned the story. It's interesting how at 41 is when I'm just knowing the story of not how I got them, but like why I got them, if that makes sense. Like I understand what it is. I know it's part of my culture. A lot of you guys ask, this story is really interesting. You're going to want to stick around. And those of you who may not know, just a quick update. This is a little over one week post hair transplant. So this is what we've got going on. Looks like little poppy seeds or strawberry seeds. It's really funny to me, but the back of my hair is growing back in. Um, the front is gonna do what it does. I'm gonna give little updates all the time of what's going on here, but this is the look for a little while until otherwise. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, so I've gathered the kids and I told them I have a story to tell. I they have no idea, idea what story I'm going to tell them, but I said I have a story to tell them. Okay. okay. So first and foremost, Jersey, I see you keep staring at my head. <laughs> Jersey looks at my hair transplant every day to see if it's changed yet. So Yeah, I didn't mind get to see. There's hair growing in the back. Yeah, it looks like strawberry seeds. Okay. How is the hair already yeah, growing? Yeah, really in the does. Back? So anyways. As I said, I've just got my hair transplant. You kids know that. Yep. You guys know this if you watch the previous video or two videos. I don't know when this is coming out, but this is about a week, a little bit more than a week post the hair transplant. So it's looking okay, you know. Wait, are you turning into a strawberry plant? Mm -hmm, yeah. It looks kind of like poppy seeds or strawberry seeds on my head, but okay hey, guys. So. I want to turn the strawberry so I can eat too. Okay. I can eat your head. Okay. <laughs> So, um... You guys know that Nana, my mom, has <laughs> travel marks, right? No, what is travel marks? Lord travel marks. The things, the, like oh, the L those things on, on your, um, her things? Yes, the yeah. marks on her I face. I think they look good. Dude, I'm not asking you what you think right now. Hold oh. on one second. Thank you. I mean, well, I guess Nana can say thank you. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah. Yes, the line, the... the you, you have Jenny. travel marks. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because you're her child. Right. No, that's not why I have it. It's not, I don't have it because I'm her child. It's not something they pass down like from birth. No, Nigerian, you all know that. Obviously, you children know that. And as Nigerian, I was born in Nigeria. And it used to be, well, some people still do it, a tradition in my culture. What's the language, girls? What's the Nigeria. language? Nigeria. That's right. Yoruba tribe, that's the language and the, the tribe, the culture is Yoruba. So. It's not so much of a tradition anymore, but obviously in Nana's time period, a lot of people who are Nana's age, a lot of them have the tribal the marks. Travel mark. Yes, because it was cultural tradition that you would get tribal marks based on what your tribe is. So th when they did it, did they did the um, specific like lines or something based, sorry, based on what you did? Based on your tribe and family, yes. They would do specific markings for those. So, Nana's are a lot darker because she was there her whole adult life, her whole childhood. So when they did it and it heals up, they do it so until it like literally leaves a mark. I was four when we when I came here to the country, so they couldn't do it more than the one time with um, me. Yeah. So that's why mine are smaller and you can't really see them, I guess, unless you really look. But I do have them. We'll post pictures. We'll post pictures of my mom too, so you guys can see. But I wanted to tell you guys the story of how I got my travel mark. <gasps> That. You've been asking, but you know why I haven't had been able to tell you? Right. Because I didn't know. Because guess when I just found out? When? About a month ago, Nana told me. What Nana told me was, when I was one years old, I used to faint all the time. What? Oh, Do you yeah, know what faint is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I you told me that you used to I faint. could do the best faint. Let me see. <laughs> I, are you ready? Ready? He disappeared. Okay. All right. Don't fall on top of him, please. When I was about one years old, I used to faint all the time. So she said they took me to doctors, they did brain scans, they did all types of things. They're trying to figure out like why she keep fainting, why she keep fainting. And she said the brain scans came out normal. They said, we don't see anything wrong with her brain. They did blood tests, you know, when they take your blood, they test all this stuff. They said, we don't know, we don't know what's going on. 
We don't know why she keeps fainting. Nana was like desperate, like trying to figure out like, how do I stop my one year old child from fainting all the time? <laughs> which, is, which is kind of crazy because like fainting. She said that my grandma, my dad's mom, grandma, not her mom, my grandma on my dad's side, so my dad's mom said, oh, I know how to fix this. I know what to do. Just bring her to me and I'll be able to get her to stop fainting. My mom was like, okay, sure. If you can help, please go ahead and help her. So my mom drove me to my grandmother's house and she dropped me off there. Cause my grandmother said she had a solution. Nana, my mom said she left me there for like two days maybe. And then, yeah. And then she came back and she came to get, came back to get me from the house. And when she came back, guess what? What? You had, you had those? Tribal marks. Apparently, my grandmother's solution to me to stop fainting was to give me the tribal marks. How did they do it? I don't know exactly how they did it actually, and Nana wasn't there. I got a needle and so obviously some sharp object. Nana wasn't but there, did, so she did you cry? Did it hurt? Alexis, do you remember things from when you were one years old? If I knew the story about it, I wouldn't say Nana just told me last month. So how can you ask me did I cry? Did it hurt? I don't know. Okay, was Nana mad? I'm sure I cried. How did it stop from that? Like what does mark in your skin do? Did it work? Did it work? Nana said that after that. I did stop fainting. Maybe she put a medicine in the gravy. Well, like a herbal medicine, like healing herb type of what medicine. What if it comes back again? And you keep fainting. Then she'll do it again. She'll be like, <laughs> she'll be like, uh, uh, uh. So, the thing is, a lot of times, and especially in the time periods, like people relied on natural remedies, or what they consider natural or holistic or cultural and traditional type of remedies. So that means like, if they say, oh, the doctor doesn't know what's wrong with you, I know what's wrong with you, drink this concoction I made, it'll make you feel better. Or, in the case of me and my tribe, they believe that if you have a child who's fainting or falling ill all the time and people can't figure it out, you give them the tribal marks, you put some stuff in it and it won't happen anymore. It didn't happen. So for me, I think it's kind of like, what? That's weird. What's weird is that it stopped. Like how did Nana it? says it stopped me from fainting. How? What do you guys think of that? When you have a cold nowadays, there's medicine for you to, for to help it. But like for you to stop fainting, how would you get a medicine to, for you? Because if you already did a brain scan, doctor sticked your blood and everything, mm -hmm. if doc doctor's gonna find it out and your grandma found it out, then how about that? Jersey, do you have any questions? About what? About the story I just told you. Um, about the travel marks? Yes. Yeah. How, if you got the travel mark. Tribal, not travel. Oh, I was keep thinking like travel mark? <laughs> Did you? Travel. How can we see it now? You Jersey can see can. it. Look, look. I can't. You really see it, Jersey. Um, You've seen that. I don't see. There's nothing to feel. It's flat. Can I do there's nothing to feel. This too. And actually, you know, when I was younger, that used to be a little bit darker. But you know, as you grow, like your skin your peels skin. layers and stuff. And as you, you know, every, actually yeah. your skin loses layers all the time. And as scars go away, they fade. Exactly, they fade a lot. So because it wasn't redone, now it's 40 years later, it's much more faded, but it's still there. That's cool. You think it's cool? So Alexis, do you have any questions? Or you, do you want to make a comment? So, when you got that done, was Nana like mad or angry? Nana said she was like, what did you do? Oh my goodness. Because here's the thing, growing up at that time period in Nigeria, people were giving tribal marks, but it was not like mandatory. Not everybody was doing it. A lot of people had stopped giving tribal marks to their family, to their kids. Nana had decided that she didn't want her kids to have tribal marks. And do you know that I am the only one of my mom's kids with tribal marks? Auntie doesn't have it. Auntie doesn't have it. Uncle Nash doesn't have it. Nope. Actually, not only am I the only one of my mom's kids, I'm the only one of my dad's kids with tribal marks. You know, my dad has other kids. Yeah. I'm the only one of the kids. Your tribal marks, do they like, at first, did she, was it like still bleeding when she got you? I mean, I'm sure it wasn't still bleeding. It doesn't bleed for two Probably days, but I'm sure it was, you know, just like any cut you get, Alexis. It's not, it doesn't bleed forever. It's gonna bleed and then stop bleeding. Mm. So my dad has eight kids, and I am the only one of his eight children who has tribal, tribal. marks. My mom has three kids. I'm the only one of her three kids who has tribal, tribal marks. marks. So really, I am the only child of that generation in my family that has tribal marks. Anyways, guys, what? that hey, is what? crazy. This ponytail hair thing you keep doing, you've been doing this for literally 45 <laughs> I didn't minutes. Want that. No, even that. downstairs when we're doing the, the video, you kept. Come on. Come out. Your grandma, when she took you to said you know how to fix your fainting, constant fainting, I wonder if she knew the solution right away or she was just saying that so she could think of a solution. 
Well, if she said, I know how to stop it, like who, why would... The, she could have been lying. People, she's not a child. Nobody really acts like you guys. And, oh, I know how to do this when you really don't. <laughs> she obviously <laughs> had a, a thought in her mind. Did it? Do you know and that was like, her plan. Do you know, like, how long you fainted for? No, I do not. I don't know. But I, I am 41 years old and just discovered this story a month ago. My mom never thought that she should possibly tell me this. Mom, these kids obviously are super impressed. But you guys now know the story, so now I've shared it with you all. And yeah, that's the story of my travel marks. Super bye. interesting, right? Yes. Bye. Bye. No, it's not bye. bye yet. Guys, that was a crazy story. I yeah. don't know why Nana didn't tell her earlier. But I guess it's fine because now we know. Okay. And yeah. now, bye. Peace out. Okay, whatever. Bye. Peace Thank out. Thank you for watching. And make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and so on the more. Thank you for watching.